In this video, we're going to go over confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is a type of cognitive bias where individuals search for or interpret information in a way that confirms their pre-existing beliefs. There are multiple ways that this can occur. First, individuals can search for or place more weight on evidence that support their position. So as an example, we can consider a study that was done at a university. Student participants were asked to imagine that they were serving on a jury to decide who is assigned sole custody of a child. The students were given descriptions of both parents. Parent A was given an average description. So this parent had an average relationship with a the child, they had an average income, and so forth. Parent B was given a description with both positive and negative characteristics. So an example of a positive characteristic was that parent B had a very close relationship with the child. And an example of a negative characteristic was that parent B had lots of work-related travel. Next, the experimenters would take these students and separate them into groups and ask them different questions. The students that were asked which parents should have custody looked for positive characteristics in the two parents and more of these students selected parent B. And that's because parent B had the positive characteristic of having a very close relationship with the child. Some of the other students were asked which parent should be denied custody. Here, students look for negative characteristics and more students selected parent B than parent A. And that's because parent B had the negative characteristic of lots of work-related travel. So you can see here how it's a very interesting situation that with both parent A and parent B, when a question is asked one way, parent B should be given custody. And when asked a different way, parent B shouldn't be given custody. So this is an example of how individuals can place more weight on evidence for the position that they're looking to support. Okay. So other ways that this can occur, you can have individuals interpreting evidence in a way that support their position, as well as individuals that ignore or reject evidence that do not support their position. We can consider another study that demonstrates both of these. So here, students were uh, selected to participate in a study. These students were either in favor or against capital punishment to begin with. They were told to read two fictional studies. And randomly, one of these studies were assigned as being for capital punishment, and the other was assigned as being against capital punishment. The students then reviewed the studies and were then asked for their thoughts. Interestingly, the students would always complement the study that supported their own belief and criticize the study that went against their own belief. So, for example, if you have a student who was in favor of capital punishment, when they read the fictional study that was for capital punishment, they would say good things about the study, about how the study was designed well. When they were describing the study that was against capital punishment, the same student would criticize the study and say that the study was not performed very well. And this would be the exact opposite for a student that was initially against capital punishment. So you can see here how you have both cases where the individuals are interpreting evidence in a way that supports their position and also ignoring or rejecting evidence that goes against their position. So this is how confirmation bias works.